This is Lisa Wally, Mrs. Wally, um, introducing myself and I want to spend a little time discussing our online learning for the 2020-2021 school year, at least as we're getting started. So um, I have made a little presentation for you. I just want to share it with you guys. Um, before we start, if you guys have any questions at all, you can always email me, lwally at bmhs-la.org. You can visit the website for Bishop um, and check in to see how we're doing. Um, so I just want to go over a few items for class. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is our class time. So ideally, at the beginning of the semester, you're going to make sure that your device is able to connect to the internet. Um, has a working video, microphone, and speaker. Using Zoom, I need to make sure that I can see your students, see you, um, that I can hear you, that you can ask questions, and that you are able to hear me. I highly suggest um, a headpiece like this one. Um, this one has both a speaker and an earpiece on it. Um, I also have purchased a webcam to make sure that my videos are a little bit more clear to see. I suggest those things for you as well. In Google Classroom, you can turn on push notifications um, in order to make sure that when I post something to Google Classroom, that notification sends out to you, the student. Also, parents, please make sure that you're registered as the guardian for your child on Google Classroom because that will make sure that it can send out notifications to you. If you have any questions on how to do that, um, you can send me an email or I'll be posting a follow-up video on Google Classroom um, in a few, well, in a little bit. Um, the next thing I'd like you to do is to create a specific designated learning space for your child, for yourself. Um, that space should have pens and paper, writing materials, um, things that are able, uh, things that will help you in class. If you're taking chemistry, you're going to be needing a calculator. Um, but most importantly, some solid lighting. Um, I would like to be able to see your faces. It is so much easier. We're going to be getting to know each other. We're going to be learning math. We're going to be learning complex biological processes for some classes. Um, I need to make sure that I can see your faces and know whether or not you're following along with the material. Um, the next thing is that you need to log into Zoom each day by the beginning of class. And so you just want to be very clear with this expectation from the beginning that class time begins um, at whatever designated time your class starts. I need to be able to see you already there. Um, you should be logging in early to class. Just like in school, you're expected to be already not only in the room, but all the way to your desk and sitting down when class starts. Same with Zoom. You should be logged in before class starts so that when the bell rings, when class starts, we are all face to face, we can get going right away. Our class periods are shorter, and so it's really important that we're making the maximum use of that time. So I wanna make sure that you guys are available to do that. If you need to contact me, I already mentioned this, you can contact me at lwally at bmhs-la.org. Um, you can also go through my website, which is on the BMHS website. Um, you can click on, you can see um, updates on there. Uh, for the class, we will be doing a variety of assignments and my suggestions to you um, really revolve around being diligent about the due dates. Write them down, make sure you know what the due dates are. If you're having a technical or a family problem of some sort, um, make sure that you email me prior to being late. So let's say the assignment is due at midnight and at 11.45 you acknowledge that you are not going to get this in in time, your internet has crashed, something has happened, send out an email to me. Send that email um, through your phone, through your parents' email, find a device that's working, send me an email that just says, Mrs. Wally, I cannot turn this in, this is the error message I'm receiving, I'm working on it, send that to me in advance. That will let me know that there's something going on that needs um, some accommodation. After the due date, if you forget to email me, if you are so late that you can't stop to email me, um, 
if you're emailing me at 1201, 1202 to say I was, I was having technical difficulty, I cannot make accommodations for that. That assignment is late. So it's really important that you are preemptive, that any mistakes, any shortcomings, any late assignments, any issues, any conflicts, that I find out about those things before the assignment is late. Um, the classwork is going to vary based on the needs of the topic. Sometimes you'll be with me kind of working at this board and we'll be going over material live. Other times there will be pre-recorded lessons available through Edpuzzle um, for you to work on as assignments. Anytime something is posted into Edpuzzle, it is also available on YouTube, which means if you're doing the ad puzzle and you aren't sure what to do, you can actually watch ahead on YouTube. If you put in a little extra work, you can make those ad puzzles quite easy. Um, there will be, again, a follow-up video on how to use ad puzzle and how ad puzzle works um, for both you and your parents to view as you want to. Um, but any uh, pre-recorded lecture material will be available on YouTube as well as assigned through Edpuzzle. So the Edpuzzle is where you get the credit for the assignment, um, but it will be available to watch both before if you wanted to front load the material or after as review on, Ed, on YouTube. Um, for assessments, this is what everyone wants to know about. How am I going to assess you at distance? Um, I use a variety of assessment types. Last semester alone, we did projects, we did um, more like actual old-fashioned tests. Um, we use Edmodo um, and hopefully we'll be using Canvas to administer more of a traditional style of uh, multiple choice and free response question test. Um, sometimes you're going to work on a project, sometimes you'll create something. Um, maybe you'll make a video like this that's explaining to me all of the things that you learned in the chapter. Um, the assessment will be based on what we're learning, uh, but you'll be assessed in a variety of ways. I would, though, like you to be able to print. Sometimes I'm going to want you to be able to just write out what you are looking at. Now you can always copy it down if you don't have a printer, but if it is possible to get a printer working, get some ink for that printer, uh, make sure that it's connected to your device, it would be very helpful to have a printer, even just a, a small, you know, low budget printer would be amazing so that you would be able to print uh, material out and work on it right there in your home. Above all though, please stay safe wear your masks, stay home, let's get back to campus, um, let's get these numbers down. Uh, this COVID crisis has been trying for everyone. Um, if you are having difficulty, if the platform is not working, if the way I'm teaching is not working, if you need to talk to me directly, if you wanna sit down and go over the material in a different way than what I'm doing for the class as a whole, let me know. I understand that. I want to be there to help and to assist you, to help you to learn this material the best way possible at distance. Um, we're in this together. I'm trying to get you guys through this. I, I say that we're what we're trying to do is uh, build a boat while we're sailing it, right? But now we're gonna try to build a boat. We're gonna try to turn that boat into an airplane and we're gonna try to fly it all the way um, to next semester, okay? So this is a difficult task. It is for me, it is for you, it is for your parents. I'm a parent as well, I know. This is difficult for every single member of the family right now and I am here to be supportive of that. Um, routine is important. Uh, being held accountable is important. Uh, getting value for your education, getting a real education right now is important, but also your mental health and how you're feeling and how you're learning and your stress level, those things are important too. Um, I'm trying to support that whole person, okay? Um, if you need something, if you're having a problem, if you need an intervention from me in some way, please let me know. The sooner the better. Uh, the sooner we can get you help that you need or assistance or a change of venue or whatever you need, as soon, the sooner we can get that, the better. Okay, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you guys, and uh, I'll see you in class.